As everyone may or may not know, the new Xbox was revealed a couple days ago, and I'm going to review everything that happened at this reveal. Fanboys be warned. To our surprise, the next Xbox wasn't named any of the rumored names, 720, Affinity, etc. However, it was named something much worse. The Xbox One. Now, I could go on for a very long time explaining why this is a terrible name, Considering this is, you know, the third Xbox, you know, it might be something to do with it. But I think it's pretty obvious, and there will be no need to go into any detail about that. And we all thought the Xbox 720 would be a bad name. They opened the event with many people talking about the revolution of gaming, or some bullshit like that, which is ironic, you will see why later on. But they do show the console, and in my opinion the thing looks horrendous, a real eyesore, it's personally hard for me to look at it. It looks very similar to a 90s VCR. You know those things you put those tapes in when you were a kid. Maybe you, maybe you're a little older. You were a kid. Anyways, it's nothing like you would expect the console to look like. Not much to say about the looks besides it has a slot loading for Blu-ray discs, much similar to what the PS3 had. Overall, it looks very bulky and plain looking. The controller had a slight redesign. Mostly a better cross-like D-pad, which was much needed from the last, and much more precise controls. However, they're gonna do that because the last one was pretty damn good, if you ask me. All right, they got rid of the AA batteries, so no more worrying about buying batteries every week or however fucking often. So you just plug it into the console, charge it, and boom! Impulse triggers. Uh, impulse triggers apparently just like vibration in the triggers. You know, that's kind of cool. I guess if you want that. Controller also had two mystery buttons on it, which I'm gonna assume one is for sharing, like video sharing, and the other is for options, much like the PS4 controller had. I love the 360 controller, so I'm sure I would love this one even oh, more. Oh, and guess what? You know how everyone just loves the Kinect so much? Boom! Kinect 2.0. Now with a 180 HD camera, and even more ugly looking than before. Now we can do the motion gaming everybody loves with a slightly larger and better looking quality camera. Yay. The interface is similar to the old one. and kind of reminds me of Windows 8. Make such a big deal about it. Be able to change between TV, games, movies, and music with just a voice command. But then again, there you can use your normal controller or if your TV remote if you want. Or you can use the random, you can just yell at your console like an idiot. You know, just between those two choices. You can have two things running at once. For example, Internet Explorer and a movie. You know, if you can focus on two things like that at once, which seems necessary and necessary. However, you can Skype, so you know, that's a plus. They spent like 10 minutes showing how you can have your sport player scores and highlights on the same screen. Although you still need to use your phone to control it, which just means you can look off your phone. Whole bunch of other things about it. Not a sports fan, so it didn't interest me at all. Another thing that will rarely be used by the average gamer. So, you know the Kinect everyone loves? Uh, they are pairing it with the Xbox One, so you can pay like an extra $100 than you would normally for something you would rarely use. Long story short, it can recognize your movements much better, like your rotation of your hand and somehow read your heartbeat, which is kind of fucking creepy. But hey, at least it has voice recognition and a um, HD camera. If you ain't sold yet, I don't know what will sell you. Now you're probably asking, what's the specs of the Xbox One? So the specs follow as 5 billion transistors, 8 gigabytes of RAM, which, you know, I don't know why they include the 5 billion transistors, because not many people know what those are, so it won't be mean much. But as far as everything else, people know what it means, people know what it is as far as tech-wise. USB 3.0, so that's good they upgrade from 2.0. Wi-Fi, which I would hope they would include it, because, you know, they didn't last generation, and you had to uh, buy this fucking little fucking thing. It costs like $50 extra just to connect Wi-Fi. A Blu-ray drive, which, you know, that's Sony owns, so they're, they're, each time they sell a console, you know, Sony's gonna get cut on it, and Sony's their competitors. Um, an 8-core CPU, which these things... These things are very basic, and we should see more detail at E3. Let's see how it really stacks up. It's going to be running three operating systems at once, so we will have to see how much that takes away from the overall power. 
Smart glass. Oh boy, yeah, they're kind of focusing on smart glass even more than the games. For those who don't know what smart glass is, pretty much smart glass allows you to have a second screen or a remote control for the Xbox One. Keep in mind, you won't be able to play those console games via smart glass. Nothing more than just another remote, basically. Oh, which I thought the connect was used to get rid of the remote. Mixed messages! Okay, finally we have something interesting here. Bigger online matches equals more players. So maybe we can see games now with more than 16 players in a match? Cause you know, that would be, that would be up a step. Maybe we'll get like 20 players, who knows? Cloud allows you to store your games movies and all other media in the cloud so you can have it even if your console fucked up so it stores it over the internet basically and you know you can have it basically all the time so if your console just messes up some reason you will still have all the save files and all that good shit so yes that's a good thing 25 minutes in and they finally show an actual video game halo gears of war nah man racing forza I'm not a racing fan at all, but I know many out there that are, but just another racing game with better graphics and as a release title, which is actually nice to see that they have a game so far. But of course they did not show actually gameplay, however they just showed, you know, cutscenes. Uh, just cutscenes, no, no actual gameplay, so yeah. Everyone clap now, yeah, no. Another game, Quantum Break. All we really seen of this was a ship hitting a bridge. Basically, from what I read, it's a, it's a game mixed with television. You know, go figure. That's what we all want with a game. Fucking television. The highlight of the thing was when they announced 15 exclusive games for the first year alone, and 8 of the 15 exclusives are going to be new franchises which is more than exclusives Xbox has ever had. It's nice to see that they are broadening their exclusives than just having three or four ones worth noting at all. I guess we have to wait until E3 to see how many of these exclusives will be worth picking up the entertainment console for. So Bonnie Ross comes on stage with a Halo in the background. Everyone's getting all excited for another Halo game announcement. Nope, fuck you, a TV series. Once again, just goes to show Microsoft is putting in television before gaming. At least it seems that way. I realize Halo might be a good show, but let's all be honest. Halo is about the gameplay and not the story. A new game announcement would have been better. Yeah, Steven Spielberg is helping out with this one, so it has a good chance of being actually good. That's all I'm going to say about that. Their first and only dev speaker. You know, go ahead and guess who it was the most evil, most shitty corporation, and it just got, you know, worst company of the year. Yeah, EA. And it's not even the good EA that makes, like, fucking, you know, Mass Effect or Battlefield. It's the EA Sports, which just makes sports games. Yeah, just take a moment to think about this one. More sports, more shit few gamers care about. I'm not even gonna spend time talking about this one because at this point, I'm just sick of all the sports considering I dislike sports games. So I'm just gonna leave it at that. Call of Duty! Guess what? New Call of Duty. We all didn't see this one coming. Early release DLC too. Hmm. Just give me a, a couple of minutes to search for a fuck to give. Yeah, I'm not gonna find one. There's much more other things to worry about than early COD maps. Although I guess it's nice to people who enjoy that game, which I'm not one of them. I quit a long time ago, never going back. Anyways, there were plenty of new and better experiences on next-gen consoles. Why would I spend my money or time on the same recycled game? Oh, and they want to try something new, you say? So, so this is what we did. We put dogs into this game and made hairs on the arm, as well as dirt on the fingernails. And guess what? This is, this is a real gooder. Fish that move away when you swim near them. Oh my fucking god, it's like a whole new fucking game. As far as I'm concerned from this reveal, if you want to watch TV, play sports games, and Call of Duty, you would be better off getting the entertainment system. I'm not calling it a gaming machine because I don't see it as a gaming machine. However, if you would like to broaden your game experiences with all sorts of game spending mini genres and things, 
you want from a gaming machine, go with a PlayStation 4, Wii U, or stick with a gaming PC, because honestly, you do not want to support something that seems to be putting gaming second to everything else. Microsoft doesn't see Nintendo as Sony's competitors anymore. They more seem to see Google and Apple as their new competitors. Now, I'm not a fanboy of any kind. I did before the PlayStation 3 over the Xbox 360 last year, but I was actually looking forward to this, and obviously... I was looking forward to this reveal, and obviously I got let down, so yeah, I'm kind of upset, because I was hoping they'd um, do something of interest, but no, they just TV and shit. But yeah, that pretty much ends this video. Well, that includes this video. You can hit that like button if you like this video, and then slap that dislike button if you dislike this video. And leave a comment down below, because I'm interested in what you guys think about the Xbox Uno. Xbox Uno, I like that name more. Yeah. Also, if you could subscribe, that'd be awesome. Cause, um, I'm gonna do more videos like this one. So if you enjoy this video, you're bound to enjoy the future videos and all kinds of video game shit and everything else. But on the screen, you have two annotations to two different videos. On the left is an annotation that will bring you, it will bring you to a highlights of the Xbox One reveal and on your right is one of my videos I made on a awesome game called Pokemon 3D, a first person Pokemon 3D. So you can check that out and download that game on that video's description. And you guys have a good day.